square roots. In this video, our objective is how to simplify square roots. First off, what does it mean to simplify a square root? Well, what it means is we want to make the number inside the square root as small as possible, but still a natural number by removing the largest perfect square factor from inside the square root. Let's remind ourselves our perfect squares are, uh, let's see, well, one squared, which is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, five squared is 25, six squared is 36, etc. Those are our largest perfect squares. Uh, excuse me. Those are our perfect squares, beginning with one, going up to six squared. So how do we do this? We want to remove the largest perfect square factor. Okay, so let's do some examples and see what that looks like. Remind ourselves. Simplify the square root of 18. Well, 18 is 1 times 18. 18 is 2 times 9, and 18 is 3 times 6. Those are the three ways we can write 18 as a multiplication of two numbers, and we're looking for our largest perfect square factor. Well, we only have one. In this case, it's the number 9 is our largest perfect square factor. So, we're going to rewrite the square root of 18 as the square root, and I always put the largest perfect square factor first, 9 times 2. So 18, we're rewriting it as a product of the factors 9 and 2. Okay, now according to our, our, our rules of square roots, the square root of a product is equal to the product of the square roots, and we chose 9 for a reason. The square root of 9 is 36. 9 is a perfect square. Excuse me, the square root of 9 is 3. 9 is a perfect square. So simplifying this, we get 3 times the square root of 2. And this is the exact answer. Exact simplified result because the square root of 2 the square root of 2 is irrational so you do anything else to put this into a calculator to get a decimal you are getting an approximation you are not getting an exact answer this is the exact simplified result let's do that for two more examples okay we want to let me slice up a bit more let's make sure my there we go make sure we got it focused in simplify the square root of 40. Well, 40 is 1 times 40. And I like to start with the, 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 largest, pos the largest and smallest possibility. My factors from here on out are going to get closer and closer together. For example, 2 times 20. Now I'm closer with these two numbers. 3 is not a factor of 40, but 4 is. 4 times 10. Notice I'm getting closer and closer. 40 as a factor, which is 5, 5 times 8, and that's it. There's no factor 6 or 7, so that's as far, those are the only factors of 40. The largest perfect square turns out in this case to be 4, the largest perfect square factor. So I'm going to take the square root of 40, and I'm going to rewrite 40 as the square root of the perfect square first. 4 times 10, and again, using our properties of square roots, the square root of a product is equal to the product of the square roots. Whoops, I was a step ahead of myself, sorry about that. So the square root of 4 times 10 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 10. Well, we wanted the four, we chose four for a reason because it's, a lar it's, the, it's the largest perfect square factor. The square root of four is two, 
and then I'm left with the square root of 10. So I made the number inside the square root as small as possible, still a natural number. I removed the largest perfect square of four. I took it out and it became a two. So square root of 40 is equal to two square roots of 10. Again, this is the exact answer. If you put this into a calculator, you're gonna get a decimal approximation. One more, and I'll kind of do a bit of a shortcut on this one a little bit. Simplify the square root of 72. Well, we know it's one times 72. Okay, now let's continue. Is it even? Yes. Two times 36. Well, I'm gonna stop right there. If my, if my greatest factor is 72 and my, my next largest factor is 36, I already know that this is the largest perfect square factor. I don't need to continue. Three times 24, four times 18, six times 12, eight times nine. I don't need to continue. I found the largest perfect square. From here on out, all the other factors are going to be smaller. So the square root of 72 is, and again, I'm gonna write the perfect square factor first, the square root of 36 times two, which is the square root of 36 times the square root of two. The square root of a product is equal to the product of the square roots and the reason we chose, the reason we picked out and used 36 times 2 is because 36 is a perfect square. The square root of 36 is 6, and we're left with the square root of 2. So again, the number un, inside the square root is as small as possible while still being a natural number. And we've taken out, we removed the largest perfect square factor, which was 36, and we have a 6 times the square root of 2. So that is how you simplify square roots. Take your time, note the possible factors, choose the largest one, rewrite the number as a product, apply a square root rule, and then you'll have what you're looking for, a simplified square root.